Hey you, welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. I'm wife. And together we're reading the Bible. Starting with Genesis and eventually ending with Revelations, we're working through every book and offering our atheist two cents. Or shekels. Yeah, those. We're asking questions and pointing out all the nonsense. We aren't academics or scholars. Nope. In fact, when it comes to religion, we really don't know anything at all. What we've learned so far is that God's a dick. Oh, he really is, isn't he? If you're interested in how we reached this startling conclusion, maybe start from episode one. Otherwise, jump in anywhere. It's all good. Yep. Hey, wife, we just got a new sponsor. It's Anchor. They must think we're doing something right because they picked us back up. That's amazing. Want to hear something even more amazing? Uh, yeah. I actually know what they are. You are full of shit. I'm calling your bluff. Tell me about Anchor. Okay, so Anchor by Spotify is the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. I'm actually surprised you knew that. But did you also know that Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer? Yes, because I see you do that on your phone all the time and it looks pretty simple. It really is. And when hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. But I use CastBox. Yeah, darling. I know you like CastBox. It gets distributed there too and lots of other platforms as well. And how much are we paying for this awesome service? Absolutely nothing. Coolio. So then we should tell people to download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started? Yep. Do it now. Husband. Wife. Hi. Uh, Hey. So we're doing a live Twittery thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm. I mean, so far I've enjoyed it, and uh, we might. I think we're we're taking breaks in between stuff, and maybe talking to people during our intermissions and stuff, right? Yeah, that's, I, that's I pretty fun. I was kind of dreading because I don't do live like, shit, live shit, people, um, the just world. everything in general, right? If it's <laughs> if it's not cats, stickers, and coffee, I'm kind of not interested. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. <laughs> All right, so um, do you remember what happened last week? I actually don't. I remember. Okay, so I remember like there was people that like there was something about the twelve guys, and then the the two guys that were something, and then there was Caleb numbers. and Joshua. Yeah, were the good Joshua ones. son of none. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were the good ones. Yeah, I mean, you know, for God. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I don't remember much else. Well, the other ten got smited or whatever. Yeah. And then I mean, God said "fuck you" and they died. Kind of. Right. And then he told the people, fine, I won't smite you all out of hand because Moses talked me out of it. Yeah, he'll just punish their progeny. Yeah. And also, you guys will never see the promised land. So. Yay. Keep going. We love this guy. For absolutely no reason. Keep going. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's just another like 38 years. Right. Right. So no worries. And then, so that was the the one chapter. Okay. And then then we kind of, when we did our, we did our Q&A and we kind of skipped completely over 15 so i don't remember yeah, anything about 15 um, okay so in 15 there was a guy that picked up sticks on the wrong day and he got stoned by the community Jeez, that sucks yeah he worked on the sabbath that asshole yeah I, I hate it when i pick up a stick and then get stoned to death yeah that's that's always a bad day yeah so that happened yeah and so then then what are we uh what are we doing today we are doing Numbers chapters 16 and 17. But didn't you want to complain about some guy from oh, New Zealand? Shit. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I've only banned, no, I've only blocked two atheists since I've started on Twitter. Uh, and which, okay, let me just cut you off. I find it surprising that you would have to block people who are supposed to be in your own community. Okay, but the first one I blocked because she was sending me like oh, yeah, yeah, naked yeah. pictures. Yeah, that was so interesting. That was, that, was... <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> You come to me with the first one and you're like, this is inappropriate, right? And I was like, mm, yeah. <laughs> when they were doing things like they was, she was talking about doing stuff with her son. And I'm like, oh, this is just too much. No, her son was taking the pictures. Well, yeah, but that's still too much. Yeah, yeah. That's not okay. It was not okay. So I blocked her. For just for being weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but then today I blocked somebody because they were... Um, they were complaining about me advertising stuff that I was selling on our website. And, like, apparently he was comparing me to Ben Shapiro and uh, and Alex Jones. And I'm like, okay, that's enough. Bye. Right. Because 
Like, dude, I, we were, we're literally taking a loss doing this. Because it's fun. Because it's fun, yeah. And, like, I, I would love to turn this into something bigger than this, but um, it, it is what it is. So he, you know? he said that you selling hats with our logo on it was equivalent to selling <laughs> supplements. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so like, get the and he fuck was just like he here. wouldn't let up. So I was like, okay, bye. I don't need this on my feed. So right? whatever. Miss me with that shit. <sighs> so yeah. Anyway, I've only banned two atheists ever. Those were the two. Yep. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. And now we're gonna go do chapters sixteen and seventeen. Yeah, numbers chapter sixteen and seventeen. Let's do it. Okie dokie. Hey, wife. Yes, husband. Did you know that we are now on Patreon? Um, yes, because you told me, but also, no, tell me more. <laughs> so we're on Patreon now. Are we? We are. And our supporters can go there and support us. And we have multiple levels all the way up to You Killed God. That sounds really drastic and escalated quickly-ish. Well, no, there's multiple levels before there. So it, es- it es- escalates on a sliding scale of, you know, cheap to, to not cheap. But, you know, we can definitely use any amount. So, like, any support is always appreciated. So, what exactly is Patreon? It's a place where you can show your support for our podcast. and Just our podcast? Any podcast or any <laughs> performer. But, you know, we're the ones that, you know, you're listening to right now. So, maybe you should, uh, you know, support us. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. But we love you anyway. So, all you got to do is go to Patreon. Look up Sacrilegious Discourse. It's actually patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse is our actual main page there. So, head on over and send us some love. Yeah. All right. So, we are back to do Numbers Chapter 16. And we're starting with Korra's Rebellion. Who the fuck is Korra? I guess we're going to find out. I guess so. And a rebellion. This sounds exciting, at least. I know, right? Like, the Bible's really picking up. These I mean, last few chapters have not been boring, at least. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean knock on wood, I guess. It's not building the fucking ark, and it's not uh, right, right. <clears throat> naming off names. So, you know. We, we got through the begats. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One day, Korra, son of Izor, I, Izor. I, how would you say that? Izar? Is Izar? Izar? I don't know. Is is there wizard? Whatever. Move on. Okay. Move along. A descendant of Kohath, son of Levi, conspired with Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, the uh, <laughs> <laughs> and on son of Palath from the tribe of Reuben. All right. Whatever. <clears throat> yeah. So they, we never claim to be good at names. So yeah. 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 So Korah, the son of all these people. Uh, they incited a rebellion against Moses. Oh, what? shit. Along with 250 other Wait, leaders. Wait, is this like a new rebellion? Because, like, haven't they learned their fucking lesson yet? They apparently have not. <clears throat> That's really dumb. Right? Like, they always die. They always or die. Or get banished or something. Or get their gold taken yeah, at the very right? least. Melt yeah. it down into a <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. Oh, remember those guys had to eat the gold? Yeah, kind of. That was gross. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Other leaders of the community, all prominent members of the assembly, they united against Moses and Aaron and said, You have gone too far! The whole community of Israel has been set apart by the Lord and he is with all of us. I don't think he's well, How right. do they know? They only, God only talked to Moses according to, well, Moses, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what right do you have to act as though you are greater than the rest of the Lord's people? Um, uh, the right I have is that... Um, that he talks to me. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm Moses. Yeah, I that's guess. all I got. I mean, you know, I'm just as far as the Bible is saying. You know, right. I'm you just... know what? If I was Moses for realsies, I would just be like, come at me, bruh. I guess. I'm, I believe in God. I have faith that I mean, he will protect my so ass. Far, so far, he's he's one out. Come so, at me. You know. That's what I would say. Yeah. Unless maybe he's lying, <laughs> in which case, you know, he's trying to avoid trouble but still be the leader. Well, we all know that's the case, so. <laughs> I mean, a grift are going to grift. <clears throat> yeah. When Moses heard what they were saying, he fell face down on the ground. Then he said to Korah and his followers, tomorrow morning. Oh, is this morning, the same one? Is this where he fell face down? On, or no, that was no, Moses that, and Aaron. Yeah, they okay. fell face down when the <clears throat> spies were, like, getting uppity and making the people okay. believe that. Okay, so this that, is a separate falling face down on the ground. Yes, okay. yes. Just making sure. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, the Lord will show us who belongs to him and who is holy. The Lord will allow only those whom he selects to enter his own presence. 
Korah, you and all your followers must prepare your incense burners. Light fires in them tomorrow and burn incense before the Lord. Then we will see whom the Lord chooses as his holy one. What the fuck does the incense have to do with it? You Levites are the ones who have gone too far. It's, I don't know, symbolic, I guess. Oh, this is the Levites, the ones that are like helping out yeah. guarding the guarding the, the Ark of the Covenant and yeah. everything and they're like no we've had a fucking enough we've had <laughs> we've had a fucking enough I really <laughs> like that also um apropos of nothing I really like that they used the word whom correctly we will see whom the Lord chooses I mean you are an English major yeah person so yeah, yeah that would it, yeah it's just that, like, I see that wrong a lot, and it always pleases me immensely I when see. I see it used yeah. correctly, which has nothing to do with how I use and abuse grammar and English, because <laughs> I know you the rules. You use and abuse it knowing the rules. So right. You're like, I know the fuck rules. the rules, because I know them. And I know which ones to break yeah. and how. I mean, that's totally legit. Yeah. yeah. I'm a true artist. Makes, I mean, it makes total sense. Sure. Does it seem in... Oh, wait. I messed up. (laughs) Then Moses spoke to Korah. Now listen, you Levites. (laughs) Does it seem insignificant to you that the God of Israel has chosen you from among all the community of Israel to be near him so you can serve in the Lord's tabernacle and stand before the people to minister to them? Korah, he has already given this special ministry to you and your fellow Levites. Are you now demanding the priesthood as well? The Lord sounds like it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm know. pretty sure this is well, and, like and who, uh, a who dual. Was it? Aaron and uh, and what was the lady's name again? Miriam. Miriam. You know, Aaron and Miriam were kind of demanding the same thing before too. But they were demanding um, it differently. They were like trying to be part of the leadership, not rip it from him. Right. Right. This guy is challenging. This is like a duel for leadership. Got it. Um, Miriam and Aaron were like. You know, we really need to be decision makers together. He could have picked a better time than when he just slew a right. bunch of people. Yeah, I so. I would not necessarily have right. done this. But that might have instigated it, too. That's true. I mean, I'm just saying. They like, might have said, you know what? That's the last motherfucking straw. I'm done. Yeah. You just killed our friends. Fuck you. Yeah. The Lord is the one you and your followers are really revolting against. For who is Aaron that you are complaining about him? I, whatever. <laughs> That's more of blah, 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 I know likey. Right. Then Moses summoned Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab. But they replied, we refuse to come before you. Isn't it enough that you brought us out of Egypt, a land flowing with milk and honey, to kill us here in this wilderness, and now you treat us like your subjects? I don't, does he treat them like their subjects? I mean, he treats them pretty badly. Like, they're getting does burnt they? and fucking plagued and... Okay, but... And they're like, can we just go back to... To Egypt? And he's but like, he, fuck no. But he only does that when they get uppity and stupid. Yeah. He's like... He's but like, they seem to always be uppity and stupid. So. That, but that's what I'm saying. He's like, do the thing. And they're like, no. And then they get punished. And then they're like, god damn it. <laughs> and then he's like, just do the thing. And they're like, okay. And then the next day they're like, wait, we still don't want to do the thing. And then it just starts all it's over. Like, yeah, it's the same thing every fucking week. It's kind of... Boring, but in a funny way. I mean, yeah. It's <laughs> just like, okay, you guys are going to die, and you're going to die, and right. you're going to die. With a smite smite here and a smote <laughs> smote there. What's more, you haven't brought us into another land flowing with milk and honey. You haven't given us a new homeland with fields and vineyards. Are you trying to fool these men? We will not come. Well, here's the thing, though. He was trying to lead them into that land, and then they lied about the giants, and... Well, they didn't. No, they didn't lie. Well, about they the didn't giants. lie. They just were like, no. They this... were scared of the fucking giants. Right, but okay, you're and right. And they were like, I don't want to fight fucking giants, and I'm like, I agree. I don't want to fight giants either. Right, but it's just that they're like, God promised us this land, and God's like, all you have to do is go in there and kill the giants, and I promise I got you. Right. And then they're like, no. And then they're like, God damn it! There's no milk and honey. And he's like, yes, just as I said there would not be if you did not listen to me and trust me and kill the giants. I guess. I but he hasn't treated them. God has not treated no, them very well. No, on I'm not saying that I'm upset with the people for rebelling. It's just that they're surprised that, oh, my goodness, God followed through on his threats. Like, why right. is that a I shock? Mean, in, in, the, in the realm of the Bible, yeah. It would, it, why is that he, a shock? He's definitely followed through on killing the fuckers for right. being stupid. So, right. you know, why would you do that? Like, I would be hesitant to believe the prizes. I would never disbelieve that he might actually follow through on punishments. Right, yeah. 
True. Then Moses became very angry and said to the Lord, the Lord, to the Lord, do not accept their green offerings. I have not taken so much as a donkey from them, and I have never heard a single one of them. And Moses said to Korah, you and all your followers must come here tomorrow and present yourselves before the Lord. Aaron will also be here. You and each of your 250 followers must prepare an incense burner and put incense on it so you can all present them before the Lord. Aaron will also bring his incense burner. What's up with, I really need to know about these incense burners. Like, what the fuck is this? It's just, um, you know, that pleasing aroma to the Lord. Right, but like if you aren't in his favor, does your stink or something or what? It's just more symbolism and more... Oh, Cora, yours smells like ash. You're dead. I mean... (laughs) Whereas, yes, that was funny. I think it's just like more of the... We follow these rules. These are the traditions. This is what we're meant to do. Okay. We we slaughter the lambs and we light the fucking incense and we don't pee on the tabernacle tent. Right, You know? That shit. Right. So each of these men prepared an incense burner, lit the fire, and placed incense on it. Then they all stood at the entrance of the tabernacle with Moses and Aaron. Meanwhile, (laughs) meanwhile, Korah had stirred up the entire community against Moses and Aaron. Of course she had. Or they had. And they all... the guy, right. I'm assuming, yeah, son of whoever. Yeah, sorry. And they all gathered at the tabernacle entrance. Then the glorious presence of the Lord appeared to the whole community. And the Lord said to Moses and Aaron... Wait, he's appearing to the whole fucking community now? Yeah. Before he could only appear to fucking Moses. Now now it's the whole community. They're like, fuck it. I'm going to just go down and see them all. Yeah. Okay. Burn, baby, Just checking. Burn. Just checking. Okay, and this is what he said. Get away from all these people so that I may instantly destroy them. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a loving God, right? <clears throat> Wait, who's he saying that to? Moses and Aaron? Yeah, he's saying move out the way because I'm about to smite these motherfuckers once again. Do you think they were the only ones that heard him or did everybody hear Because if I heard it and I was like, oh, fuck. I'd be following Moses. <laughs> But Moses and Aaron fell face down on the ground. Oh, God. Oh, for Christ. They pleaded. Oh, my God. You are the God who gives breath to all creatures. Must you be angry with all the people when only one man sins? I mean. They, they, they spend all this time defending the people he's trying to kill. Well, Moses wants to lead his people to the fucking promised land. And he can't do that. If, if they're God, all dead. If God keeps coming down and smiting them. Well, if he'd stop smiting them, he might be able to have more people to lead. But if he keeps smiting uh-huh. them, then... Um, it's further proof that, you know, you better fucking obey God. Like, get get on the page. There's got to be a happy medium for smiting, though, right? I don't know what that would be <laughs> in these times. There's all or nothing. Either get with God and do every single thing 100%. Yeah. And even at that, you still might get smited. Right. Or, you know, you're dead. Or leave. Leave. Sure. Yeah. Those are your options. Okay. So if they're going to stick around, they need to get on page, you know? I guess so. I guess so. And the Lord said to Moses, Then tell all the people to get away from the tents of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. So Moses got up and rushed over to the tents of the tents, the tents of Dathan and Abiram, followed by the elders of Israel. Quick, he told the people, get away from the tents of these wicked men and don't touch anything that belongs to them. If you do, you will be destroyed for their sins. Oh, damn. Now, here's what I want to know. God came down before all of them. But right, it looks but apparently like, he was only talking to Moses yeah, and Aaron. Yeah, it looks like only Moses and Aaron could hear what God was saying because yeah. they're like, oh, shit, you guys. So what was the point of showing up in front of all of them then? I don't know. That's dumb. I don't know. Okay. Like, do you remember when um, well, Alanis you- Morissette came down as God in the movie Dogma and like she couldn't (laughs) stop laughing at me like you worked Alanis Morissette into this I did okay she played God yeah and remember um she couldn't um speak or else it would blow up everybody's eardrums and then at the very end she um blew up um Ben Affleck's ears Yeah. yeah yeah see okay so all the people stood back from the tents of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. Then Dathan and Abiram came out and stood at the entrances of their tents, together with their wives and children and little ones. Aww. Oh, sure, sure. Hide behind the women and children. Right. Pussies. Oh, you know what? As a feminist... <laughs> they, didn't have, they didn't know they were getting smited, though, maybe. You know what? But before we do that, as a feminist, <clears throat> I want to retract the fact that I called yeah, them that was, pussies. That was not because that was not appropriate. Yeah. Because... Yeah. because Pussies are tough, and it is not um, it is not an insult to have one. And sorry right. to all women out that there. That was your your eighties self coming. That out. was my eighties bitchery and <clears throat> my nineties bitchery. Right. But right. now I'm two thousand twenty one, and I know better. Right. 
Sorry. Okay. They were not pussies. They were cowardly bastards. Right. Is that better? That's better. Okay. And Moses said, this is how you will know that the Lord has sent me to do all these things that I have done, for I have not done them on my own. Duh. If these men die a natural death or if nothing unusual happens, well, then the Lord has not sent me. But if the Lord does something entirely new and the ground opens its mouth and swallows them and all their belongings and they go down alive into the grave, Damn. then you will know <laughs> that these men have shown contempt for the Lord. That's rough. That is, do you think like the ground he is had fucking swallow him, huh? Do you think he had some kind <clears throat> of futuristic device to tell when there was going to be an earthquake? You and know, where? maybe that's it. Yeah, maybe he just had like a sixth sense for like earthquakes. Maybe he's from the future. He's like, yep, that's the fault line right You're going to listen to me or you are going to fall into the ground. <laughs> he had hardly finished speaking the words when the ground suddenly split open beneath them. Yep. Yeah. The earth opened its mouth. The earth has a mouth. Wow. Yeah. And swallowed the men along with their households and all their followers who were standing with them and everything they owned. Don't forget their kids and wife. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Like, I'm just married to this guy. And right. I, I can't help that he's a fucking moron. <clears throat> well, no, the, but they didn't. How were they supposed to know other than Moses telling them that, you know, this is going to happen? Like, this is the guy they're like, no, dude, what the fuck? And then but he's like, you- you're going to die. And they're like, they're probably still like, whatever, dude. Could you imagine being married dumb. to him, though? Like, you don't have a choice but to be married to him, probably, if you're a woman. Right. So you were doomed from birth to be married to a piece of shit. <laughs> And die because you're married to him. Right, right. That's shitty. It is shitty. God, it sucks to be a woman. It sucks to be any woman in the fucking Bible. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So they went down alive into the grave along with all their belongings, including their slaves and women and children. Definitely sucks for all those people. Yeah. Yeah. The earth closed over them and they all vanished from among the people of Israel. All the people around them fled when they heard their screams. Ah! Swallow us too, they cried. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Then fire blazed forth from the Lord and burned up the 250 men who were offering incense. What the fuck? The followers, the bad guys. Oh, because, okay, okay. They were, they were the right. ones that were following Dora. <clears throat> so he's just holding to his word here. He's just, he's just killing all the fuckers yeah. that were against him. Yeah, okay. he's only murdering the bad guys instead of I guess of in the grand scheme of thing of like 600,000, like 250... Plus, like, yeah. let's say, say 300 people. Small beans. It's, yeah, it's not a whole lot of people, I guess. Yeah. I you mean, know, whatever. I mean, that sounds yeah. like like when you're talking about the people who have died from COVID. And then you talk about um, a country where only a few people have died. And you're like, that's no big deal. <laughs> like, tell it to the fucking families. Right. It is yeah. a big deal to no. the individuals affected. Right. But statistically speaking, being very clinical and only... Concentrating on the numbers. You're absolutely right. Right, right. Then fire blazed forth and burned up, blah, blah, blah. And the Lord said to Moses, tell Eleazar, son of Aaron, the priest, to pull all the incense burners from the fire, for they are holy. Wait, they, what, I, wonder what they were, what they were, I wonder what they were made of. Like, they're in a fucking fire. God's like, oops, that got out of control. <laughs> Go get my shit right quick, would right, you? Right, right. Also, tell him to scatter the burning coals. Take the incense burners of these men who have sinned at the cost of their lives and hammer the metal into a thin sheet enough to overlay the altar. Okay, so they're metal. Since these burners were used in the Lord's presence... They have become holy. Hmm. Let them serve as a warning to the people of Israel. Yeah. All right. Because the other 500,000 deaths that he's caused yeah. just recently, you know. Keep in mind, they didn't have Twitter. They couldn't, like, <laughs> Google this shit. So right. they had to come. They just had to keep dying. They had to keep dying and they had to have repetitive stories about it and oh, symbols God. and signs. Yeah. Did you just read ahead? No. Stop no, reading I, ahead. You were. I did not. Oh, what did you do? I was reminiscing about how repetitive the fucking Bible is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your eyes glazed over and you were staring at the screen, so I thought you were no, reading ahead. No, I was ahead. like, oh, yeah, the repetitive, repetitive ass Repetitive, yeah. yeah. 
Okay. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. Shut up. I said sorry. Oh, my God. So Eleazar the priest collected the 250 bronze incense burners that had been used by the men who died in the fire, and the bronze was hammered into a thin sheet to overlay the altar. God said, do the thing, and they did the thing. Sure. This would warn the Israelites that no unauthorized person, no one who was not a descendant of Aaron, should ever enter the Lord's presence to burn incense. If anyone did... The same thing would happen to him as happened to Korah and his followers. So the Lord's instructions to Moses were carried out. But didn't Moses, wasn't yeah. he the one that told him to bring the incense burners to light them? It was probably like to indicate these these are the bad ones. These ones with the incense burners, get them. But like my question though is if Moses told him that like, and they did it, mm-hmm. did they not know that that was not okay before they did it? Clearly not. <laughs> Clearly. I mean, I thought that burning incense before the Lord was good, but apparently right. it's not. And I have to think that Moses knew that. Yeah. And yeah. he was like, you bad boys need to burn you some incense. I guess. It was like putting the mark on them. Right. You know what I mean? Like the mark of don't kill these babies or something. Sure. And instead it was the mark of do kill these bad boys. Got it. Got it. But the very next morning, the whole community of Israel began muttering again against Moses and Aaron, saying, Jesus. you have killed the Lord's people. They just never They learn. never learn. I kind of hate them. As the community <laughs> gathered to protest against Moses and Aaron, they turned toward the tabernacle and saw that the cloud had covered it and the glorious presence of the Lord appeared. Again. This is when you go, fuck. <laughs> right? Like... You're like God damn it. I was just, you know, complaining. Right. I wasn't like. This is when you stop complaining, yeah. I think. Yeah, seriously. Hey, you know, what do I know? Or, you know, leave. Yeah. Leave. Just yeah. leave. Sneak Either... out in the middle of the night and just That's never come back. Either get on board 110% or, or fucking leave. Yeah. There is no in between. Right. Moses and Aaron came and stood in front of the tabernacle and the Lord said to Moses, get away from all these people so that I can instantly destroy them. But. As you might expect would happen, (laughs) Moses and Aaron fell face down on the ground. Of course. And Moses said to Aaron, quick, take an incense burner and place burning coals on it from the altar. Lay incense on it and carry it at, carry it out, sorry, and carry it out among the people to purify them and make them right with the Lord. Didn't the Lord just say if you burn? Well, but he's carrying it out there. So like, it's okay Okay. that they're doing it as long as they're doing it, I suppose. I guess. Maybe. I'm kind of confused. I don't know. The Lord's anger is blazing against them. The plague has already begun. Oh, so there's a plague. I didn't know that. Did you know there was a plague? I didn't know there was a plague, but apparently there's a plague. Apparently there's a plague. Awesome. I got a plague. You got a plague? (laughs) (laughs) I, I meant like there's there's a plague among there's a fungus among us. You're talking about COVID. I was talking and about you don't COVID. have COVID. No, I don't have COVID. Okay, I had COVID. But that the way one you time. said it, you said I have I have a plague. Well, no, I just meant like the world has a plague right now. Oh, there's a okay. plague. You should have probably said that better then. Let me start over. The world has a plague. There you go. Now we got it. You are being so uppity. I don't like live recordings with you. <laughs> You think the crowd's on your side. No, I don't. You do. I really don't. They like me better. Okay, that's fine. Aaron did as Moses told him and ran out among the people. The plague had already begun to strike down the people, but Aaron burned the incense and purified the people. He stood between the dead and the living, and the plague stopped. That's fun. Wow, but 14,700 people died in that plague. In addition to those who had died in the affair involving Korah. Okay, now that's a little bit more fucking yeah. bullshitty. This is insane. That's like almost 15,000 people that fucking died in like a day. Right? Or day day or two. Yeah. Then, because Damn. the plague had stopped, Aaron returned to Moses at the entrance of the tabernacle. The end. That's wow. crazy. Yeah, that's that's a lot of fucking that's dead people. That's a lot of fucking people. Can you imagine the cleanup crews they would have had to get together? No, they just left in my bed. You think they just moved? They, God's cloud moved on and like fuck it. I we're see. Good. I we're see done. that the smoke pillar is uh, blowing yeah, that away. So let's, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's out. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably more the case. Ugh. All right. Well, that was a lot of dead people in one chapter. So basically, uh, God's a dick. People, I mean, always. people are stupid. God's a dick, and Moses is still a grifter. Yeah, that pretty much sums up that chapter. Okay. All right. Let's go do. Chapter 17. All right. Okay, and now we're back with Numbers Chapter 17. 
I'm so sorry. We're going to talk about... This is so childish. I Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, definitely childish. Definitely. We're going to talk about Aaron's rod. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I accidentally... What the hell I clicked, did you do? I clicked on something, okay. but look. See? Now yeah, I'm I back. See, I see. Aaron's rod. Yeah, Aaron's rod. <laughs> Chapter 17. <laughs> oh, my God. Aaron's rod. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Okay, get your shit together. Oh, God. <sighs> then the Lord said to Moses, tell the people of Israel to bring you 12 wooden staffs. <laughs> I got a staff right here. <laughs> One from each leader of Israel's ancestral tribes and inscribe each leader's name on his staff. I mean, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you need to move along now. I We're can't. Like, that's, that's, yeah. It's okay. not played out. I'm sorry. Okay, it's not? You don't think so? I don't think it is. Okay, all right. Inscribe Aaron's name on the staff of the tribe of Levi. Jesus. <laughs> for there must be one staff for the leader of each ancestral tribe. Place these staffs in the tabernacle in front of the ark containing the tablets of the covenant where I meet with you. Buds will sprout on the <laughs> staff. Belonging to the man I choose. <laughs> okay, that's really bad. <laughs> oh, God. oh, I'm so oh. childish and I don't even care. <laughs> oh, okay, so buds are going to sprout on yeah, this buds are gonna man's sprout staff. staff. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I just oh. got to tell you, I'm glad that you have not been chosen and that no buds, no buds are sprouting on my staff. <laughs> And that you don't have Aaron's name inscribed upon yeah, it. Yeah, that would be tragic. <laughs> that would be weird. And that's, yeah, that's another statement. Oh, then I will finally put an end to the people's murmuring and complaining <laughs> against you. <laughs> I'll say. So <laughs> Moses gave the instructions to the people of Israel and each of the 12 tribal leaders, including Aaron, brought Moses a staff. Oh, good. Now Moses has a staff. <laughs> Moses placed the staffs in the Lord's presence in the tabernacle of the covenant. Well, that was nice. Oh, when he went into the tabernacle of the covenant the next day, he found that Aaron's staff, representing the tribe of Levi, had sprouted, budded, blossomed, and produced ripe almonds. Oh my God, it dropped. Your um, staff never produced ripe almonds, babe. <laughs> I, I want out of this marriage. I'm sorry. Pronto. Yeah. When Moses brought all the staffs out from the Lord's presence, he showed them to the people. <laughs> That's Each... public indecency, man. <laughs> Each man claimed his own staff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. We're going to lose like 100 people out of this. You know, you know I... They're just going to be like, what the fuck sorry, is wrong with those people? But I can't even be sorry. No. Because, it's, no. Just, it's just funny. It's just funny. Yeah. I'm sorry, but men's dicks are never not funny. You couldn't, okay? if you had to read this in a non-childish manner, it would be really fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, 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 okay. Right. And the Lord said to Moses, place Aaron's staff permanently before the Ark of the Covenant to serve as Covenant? a... Shut the fuck up. Okay. Before the Ark of the Covenant to serve as a warning to rebels. I mean, if you saw somebody's dick <laughs> nailed <laughs> to... <a> staff. <laughs> Jesus Staff, dick, rod. If you saw it nailed <sighs> to... Yeah, I'd be like, fuck that. I'm, I'm not going anywhere near those fuckers. I'm not messing with them. They cut off people's dicks yeah, and then the yeah. dicks grow almonds. almonds. <laughs> 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 this should put an end to their complaints against me and prevent any further deaths. So Moses did as the Lord commanded him. Then the people of Israel said to Moses, Look, we are doomed. We are dead. We are ruined. Everyone who comes even close to the tabernacle of the Lord dies. Are we all doomed to die? The end. <laughs> <laughs> My How guess, does, yes. But here's what I want to know. How does there is a staff nailed to the thing? How does that indicate everybody that comes near this will die? I have like, no I'm idea. Like, I'm missing the correlation. I I mean, it doesn't seem very ominous or like, you know, it, that doesn't seem very threatening to me. A staff? Like, you have a stick. Whoa, whoa <laughs> there. Oh my God. And your name's inscribed and there's almonds growing from it. Okay. You know what something. would freak me the fuck out? Like if somebody had nailed one of those masks from the movie Scream, like right. if they were wearing those or they had that nailed, yeah, that would freak me the fuck out. Or if it was an actual dick yeah. nailed to the thing. Oh yeah. That would freak me the fuck out. Right. What would scare you? A bee. 
Yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, it has to be a wasp. Oh my gosh! Oh, yeah, if they, wasp. what if they had like a bunch of wasps just flying around? Yeah, no, you I'd, would. I'd leave them totally alone. You would run. I'm, you I'm would done. throw me to the wasps yeah. and run away. Sorry. Well, for me, it would be zombies. Yeah. Zombies. I yeah. would throw you to the zombies. Right. And then trip over my own self and get eaten by them anyway. <laughs> yeah, but a stick. Just, this doesn't do it. No, yeah. especially if it was a stick that budded and blew, bloomed, <laughs> bloomed, <laughs> bloomed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, sorry, nothing. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's just uh, let's, let's just, just let's out. just call this one. Yeah. Because yeah. Okay, so we'll see you Tuesday with Q and A, and then Thursday with chapters. Oh shit. Eighteen and nineteen. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>《Yeah, wife.》Um, it's the end, so we should say all the things. We definitely should say all the things. What things should we say? So we want people to get a hold of us, and there's ways that they can do that. So one of those ways I know is email. What's that email address? Sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail dot com. And they should do that by five Eastern on Sundays if they want their question to be included in our new. Tuesday Q and A episodes every week. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to hearing from some of our fans for sure. Yeah, they me can too. also get a hold of us on social media, and we have Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Um, probably the easiest way would be through Twitter at sacrilegious underscore D for D's nuts still. <laughs> yes, yeah, still. Still. I guess. Or dum dum <laughs> or doo doo. Yeah, wherever you want to go with that, I guess. Right. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, so we have all those things, and they should go there. Yeah, they should. Okay. And then, also, oh, what else should they do? They should, like, you know, review us on Apple Podcasts, because that really, really helps us out. And, you know, if you are on any other podcast app, just, like, hit a heart, or a like thing, or something. A thumbs up. Thumbs up. Nice. Whatever the hell it is, just do it, okay? Just do it. All right. I think that's all we got. Oh, you know what? I have one more thing. Oh, she's got one more thing. Um, thank you so much guys for listening and choosing us to spend your time with. We really appreciate you all and you are definitely top shelf. Yeah. Honestly, it makes us smile just about every day. Yep.